This is Caleb Kraft with Hackaday.com. I love pinball, but unless it's on the Nintendo Wii or the Microsoft Connect, my kids just aren't that interested. So I came up with an idea that I think might get them to play along because it requires a little more physical activity. I call it Pinball Stomp. The basic idea is to have a sensor on the floor that the boys can stomp on that will actuate the flippers inside the pinball game. The easiest way I could think to do that would be, was to hack apart an old keyboard. They have a control board in them that's extremely easy to use, and keyboards are everywhere. They're dirt cheap if you don't already have one laying around. To get started, what we have to do is tear a keyboard apart. I've already done it with this one. We'll take it apart. The control board was right here. I just pop these connectors out and took the board off. Here we see the different layers of the keyboard that actually make contact when we press the keys. In the old days we'd have to trace all this out to see how they connected here and label them, but now we have easier ways to do it. Simply plug it into your computer, run some software, I'll link in the description, and bridge some of these to see what the software says is being pressed. You can find the keys that you want, label them and attach buttons to them to make external buttons. People do this a lot for arcade controllers and uh, DDR mats and stuff like that so that's what we're gonna do. I don't want to leave it bare though so uh, I scrounged up this old socket box that I'm going to mount it all in with some connectors to make it nice and easy to use. Alright, we've got the whole thing together. You can see it here. Plenty of room for expansion if I wanted to add other inputs because right now we only have five inputs we can use. That's all we needed for pinball. If you're making a, an uh, arcade cabinet or something you might want more. Um, but all it is is a few more wires to the control board. Let's test it out here and make sure it works. There we go. We've got a ball in play. And we've got flipper action. Great! Up next, we'll make the stop pads.